Okay, so last video for this week is I just want to cover some very quick pipe joints. And I promise this one is not going to be a half an hour video. i say that now. You already know they're on time. I don't yet. Uh, so these are all really easy. They're made the same way. They're just kind of variations on a theme. Uh, so I'll just work right up above them. I'm going to add in a cylinder. And we'll go with 12 vertices is plenty. That works. And we'll tab into edit mode and scale it along the z-axis. I'll also turn on my screencast keys so you can see what I'm doing. Although well, there's not really anything too unique about this. Uh, so I've got that in edit mode and what we need to do is add a couple of edge loops. I'm going to grab these center faces. I'm going to duplicate them. But I'm going to right click to keep in the same spot. And I'm going to rotate around the in this case, the y-axis, 90 degrees. Okay. And then all I have to do with that still selected is go to Face and Intersect Boolean and make sure that's set to Union. And, oops, I, okay. <laughs> didn't have everything selected when I duplicated it because I didn't select it in wireframe. Go. So make sure you select everything, then you can duplicate it, rotate it 90 degrees, and with that selected, go to Face, Intersect, Boolean. You've got all of your Boolean operations here, but we're going to stick with Union. And the last thing we need to do is, you can see there's still some faces on the inside, so we just need to select those faces. I'll do it with Circle Select. C and delete them. And now we have our pipe joint. And from there you can add our subsurface modifier, add in our control loops, and everything looks wonderful. Because we need to add those as well. Okay, so it's going to work much the same way for this Y joint. We'll add in our uh, cylinder. I'm going to set cap fill type to nothing because I don't need cap fill. Uh, tab in edit mode. We'll scale it up along the Z axis. Same thing. Add in a couple of edge loops. We'll scale those apart. And we'll grab this face loop. Now you can see I got the whole face loop selected. I will shift D to duplicate it. Right click and I'll just rotate it a little bit. Something like that will work. Now for this one, I do want to make sure that it is large enough to cross the whole thing at an angle. Alternately, instead of selecting all those faces, you can actually just select everything and duplicate it. Rotate it. And just make sure that you have enough. Uh, it's also easier if you don't have edge loops running through it. It'll create cleaner geometry. Uh, also note that these are the same size pipes, so that's going to make this a lot easier. If you have different size pipes, the, the way that the edges get cut is going to be a little bit messier. So same size, same number of uh, segments, so they're both 12 vertices around. That makes this all a whole lot easier. It gets messy when you're doing different sizes. but. So once we have that, then we can grab this face loop, same thing, face, intersect, boolean, set it to union, we're good. And, and this one, because I didn't have the cap on there, I don't even have to um, delete any faces. Now if we just want that coming out of one side, this works on the vertical one as well. But we just have to select these vertices and delete them. And then, Got these vertices here. We just need to merge those together. So I'm going to hit N and bring up my tools, auto merge. And then I can just grab this vertex, GZ, and it'll snap it to that. And as soon as I click GZ, snap it there. As soon as I can confirm that move, it will automatically merge them together. And we can turn auto merge off. Uh, if you want to keep that a little bit cleaner, in front of you, you can select these, 
scale it to zero along the Z axis. Just snap that in right there. And then we can add our same control loop, so let E to keep it even, F to flip it. Something like that will work. And then control two to add our subsurface modifier, right click shade smooth. And then we also need to add one last edge right down there. And there's our Y joint. Okay. And then this one's gonna work uh, again, very similar. Difference uh, being the third direction. So we'll add in our cylinder again. Uh, just remembered all of our settings, so that's good. Okay, so we've got everything, and now I'm going to Shift D, right click to keep the same spot, rotate it 90 degrees from the front, and then I will Shift D and duplicate that again. Rotate that 90 degrees the Z direction. Okay, so I've got that. Uh, now, let's see if I can't remember if I can do this all at the same time. If we select both of those and do a union, looks like it did work. Great. So now we just have to get rid of the center um, faces. So I'm going to add in, actually, before I do that, I'm going to add some edge loops. Just add two edge loops to everything. It's going to make it a little bit easier. Select those two and intersect boolean union come in here and we'll delete these faces okay so that didn't work all of them okay so yes um i just tested it real quick you do have to do this um one at a time so let me add those edge loops back in each direction and this just this helps make the uh the cuts kind of contains the geometry, just makes it a little bit more centralized. Um, but I'm going to hover over this one, hit L, and I'm just going to hide that. So we're going to just exclude that for now. Select these faces, face, intersect boolean, see that that worked. And then Alt H to unhide this one, select these faces, face and boolean, see that that worked as well, but we do have some faces that we need to get rid of. So. Uh, C, grab the circle select, grab those faces and these faces on the other side, and delete those faces. Now we just need to add in our control loops. And you see this one gets a little bit trickier because uh, it does create an end gun down here. Um, what we can do is we can select the, these two vertices and hit J to join them. It's going to create a triangle. But I think in this case the triangle is okay. And so once we have those, uh, we will do... I'm going to, I'm going to add it in our subsurface modifier now so we can see what's going on with it. Okay. But now we can add in our Control loop. It's going to sharpen that up nicely. And we do have to do that in a bunch of places. But once we do that, I'll just do this on the top half. Obviously, it needs to happen on the bottom as well. Once we do that, we get some uh, pretty good looking geometry. Uh, I would also probably take this center vertex and just dissolve it. Just leave that triangle there. I think it's going to give us a smoother result. 
I will connect these on this one just so we can see one whole completed side. Okay, and then we will X and dissolve that vertex. And same thing over here. And we can dissolve this one as well. Okay, now we can add our control loop. Look at that subdivision again. You see that that's looking nice and clean. Um, once we clean it up, see this is before cleaning it up, and then this is after cleaning it up. That works really nicely. And you can do, still do the same thing that we did with the Y joint, where if you decide that you still want one side to be flat, then you just have to delete these vertices and bridge them across. It's going to be a little bit trickier uh, because we do have uh, some extra, uh, you know, you get an extra direction to consider. Dissolve that edge. F on that, F on that, and so we just need to add in One edge loop there. I'm going to hit G and X to slide it out, and the X direction will snap it right there. And we can fill that in. It's not there. Let me turn off subdivision so I can see what's going on. Yep, okay. Grab those, fill that in, and fill that in. Get rid of this vertex. like we got to do the same thing down here is clean that up. So as any time with booleans, there's always going to be some cleanup. Leave that vertex and just fill that in. Uh, but once you do that, you get some pretty nice, pretty nice results out of it. Um, especially for what can be a pretty daunting shape to try to replicate. So uh, there you have it. See you next week.